We're going at room okay, two. Okay, move! Get back this way. I'm not doing nothing. I'm literally not doing nothing. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Nope. <laughs> Every teenager deserves a bright future. But what happens when they keep getting themselves into trouble? Getting arrested over and over again, potentially ruining their future. Here's a group of three teenagers and four more teenagers who just couldn't stay out of trouble. Starting with what looks like a Trailer Park Boys skit, seriously, the contrast between these three teens is comedy gold. On March 15th, 2023, three teenagers named Hunter, Alex, and Brady were caught on surveillance footage, shouting profanities, and making threats at an elementary school's playground. In response, school staff swiftly moved children indoors and initiated a lockdown. The police, upon reviewing the footage, traced the vehicle's license plate, linking it to prior incidents of juvenile disturbances, theft, and property damage. The officers promptly located and pulled over the vehicle. 58, uh, both front passenger, rear passenger are reaching towards the center. I don't know if they're buckling their belts or what. Can you music down, please? Can you roll your window down, please? Thank you. How you doing? Good to see your driver's license, please. For what? Complaint over at the school of threats being yelled out at the school kids. Good to see all your driver's license and IDs because it's a complaint from all of you. Don't have one. Do you have your ID on you? Front passenger, I'm talking to you. Do you have your ID on you? Can you roll your window down and talk to that officer? It's your address, Brady. I know. You don't know your address? Let's step out of the car for me. For what? Because I'm asking to step out of the car. Can I ask what kind of threats were made? Threats to kids. That is not true at all. Okay, well that's the complaint we've received. Were you guys over by, um, was it Blessed Sacrament a little bit ago? Uh, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Do you know where it is? King and Losey, were you guys over there? Did you guys like have any interactions with the kid in the playground? Not at all? Okay, I was just coming back from my friend's court date. Oh, okay. Over the courthouse? No, he had court up in Tacoma. Oh, okay. We were just coming back from there and then... Hunter, why don't you go and step out of the car for me, please? Brady, just stay in the vehicle, okay? Step back this way. Stop right there. Anything on is going to stick me. So you would have went by Lesson Sacrament there. I don't know if you knew that or not. Oh, like, I'm not saying that you had any reactions. I'm just saying that. That's, that's where, that okay. That My strong suggestion is probably just change the attitude because it's no, not... This is no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, we didn't do anything. Okay, well your attitude isn't going to help you. So we had a complaint people in this car were yelling at the kids in the playground. That's why you're being stopped right now, okay? Hi. I'm a... Oh yeah? I'm Sergeant Rossman. Do you recognize me? I don't think so. How do I know you? I don't know if I know you either. I was just asking oh. if I did. Tell me what happened today over at the school. Nothing. We came back from Madison. We're going there for a court day because our friend's going to prison. Okay. And we're driving back and we're here to go pick up a friend from school. Okay, and where did you pick him up from? We haven't picked him up yet, we're about to. Step over for me, guy. What's your name? Hold on. So what caused you to go by the school over on Mosey? Because we're coming back from on Alaska. We're coming this way. Okay, so what caused you to go all the way down and around and, and make a loop? Ma'am, I don't think you understand. We did not yell at any kids. You're not answering my question. If you're coming to pick up it's him, hit. Am I going back to jail? I don't think so. It is relevant. We okay. did not make any threats to any children. Why okay. would we yell at a bunch of kids saying we're going to kill them? Th that's a good question. You look like my dentist. That's why I recognize you. I swear. Definitely not a dentist. I'm trying to stay out of Did you yell out the window anything? No, I'm driving. Okay, did your passengers yell out the window anything? No. If someone's yelled, let's just get to that so we don't have to spend here for an hour while an investigation is conducted over there. If someone did yell something, just just let's let's have a look at it right now. I didn't yell anything. Did anybody in the car yell anything? All the guys initially managed to stick to their story, attempting to dodge responsibility. However, Brady, who is significantly under the influence, ends up speaking excessively and inadvertently reveals more information. Tell me what happened, ma'am. Basically, the only thing that happened was we drove by and there was a bunch of kids playing football in the road. Yeah. And one kid threw the ball to him and he dropped it. And we said he's bad at football. That's all that happened. The kid said he's bad at football? No, we said he was bad You at said football. the kid was we bad at football. We did not threaten no one or anything. Okay. That's literally all we said. You're bad at football. Did anybody yell anything out the windows that would made them think that somebody was yelling they threats? They did not yell any threats. We don't got time for that. Did you yell out the windows? No. No? I'm driving. I can't be doing that. People can yell and still drive. So we went, turned around, and we went back the way we came. And they were 
all just around the teacher saying whatever they said. I don't know. Okay. Do you know who I am? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been trying to stay out of for so long. Mm -hmm. I do not need this. Okay. Well, here we are. I know, and I'm not trying to be here, and I'm not trying to be rude, but it's okay. frustrating. Yeah, and you can get as frustrated as possible, but we have as much as you want, but we have a job to do. We received that, a complaint, and they had to take all these kids into the school because of the threats that were and made. And I'm not even mad at you guys. I'm just mad at whoever called the police saying that we're trying to school of kids. School officials. Well, whoever's saying we're making threats, saying we're trying to them is... And you made no statements, no yelling, no nothing no, out. that is... Do you have any weapons in the car? No, I don't. I'm not allowed to have any. For people trying to stay out of trouble, they certainly don't make it easy for themselves. Hunter, who is out on four separate bonds and not supposed to commit any more crimes, has his cover blown by Brady, despite trying to keep it intact. Who yelled out the window at the kid? I don't know. I was playing music. Were you sitting there in the same spot you were? In the back seat behind the driver? Yeah. Was there a fourth person in the car, Brady? No. You didn't drop anybody off from that time until we... I used to dress up today. It always looks good, man. No, there's no doubt. Do you remember me when I stopped you and Jade? Yeah. Yeah, you did. You didn't say you're gonna get a gun. You ain't gonna shoot him or something like that. No, I just graduated high school. That's weird. Sure. And all that you said to the kid was bad at football. Why just said you suck? Oh, suck at football. Now we're getting some. <laughs> so you guys were trying to drive him past the school. Kid dropped a football. You yell out the window, "Hey man, you suck at football!" And then what happened? We drove away. The friend combination is just perfect. There's a rough around the edges guy in a suit at the wheel, a laid back, unconcerned guy in the passenger seat, and in the back, a totally zoned out guy lost in his own world. To top it all off, they're on their way to court to bail out a friend. Hunter, I need you to go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me. I'm placed under arrest now based on uh, Officer Roden's request. Now you're being placed under arrest for disorderly conduct and bail jumping. Oh, hey, you stand up though. We gotta just put the handcuffs on you. Put your hands behind your back, please. Okay. Feel good about themselves. They're asking me to do it. Wait, when you pulled over me and Jade, were you just waiting for us to drive by? No, I was actually on my way home. Hunter, when it gets about time, have when we have to move your vehicle, I'll will you give us park. permission to leave? This is illegal, park? bro. I didn't do anything. Will you give us permission? Why am I being under arrest? I advise you, you're under arrest for disorderly when conduct. When was I being disorderly? Okay. When? 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 we're at the school, I explained it to you. How? Okay. How was I being disorderly? Yelling profanities and threats. When did I yell? Where is the proof of me yelling at people? When it comes to time to move your vehicle, will you give us permission to move it? No. Okay. Sure. Right, if you try to just do whatever you can and not look. Yeah. Give me a jail, I guess. I get you. Thing number two. Alex, there's a bunch of rounds in your bag. Yeah, I guess I knew that was in there. There's no gun though. There's not gonna be a gun in the car. Yeah, if you just turn the down and then fight the TV. Alright. Uh, you good, Brady? You want the window down a little bit? No, but what's happening? What am I doing? Well, we're gonna head over here. I'm gonna collaborate with my partner. I'm not trying to go to jail for the first time for this. You never been to jail before? No. -uh. The worst ticket I ever got was an underage drinking. Guys got everything in this. The officers, finding ammunition in the car and aware of the occupant's history with gun-related arrests, are calling for a K-9 unit to search for any illegal substances. Alex informs the officers he has disposed of all his guns. However, the K-9 doesn't detect anything, leading the officers to conduct a manual search. This search uncovers a fake ID and a bottle of tequila in the car. They drove by and they said all three were yelling out, suck my you, I'm going to you. They circled around the school again, and then they yelled out again, I'm going to you. And Did you find a lot of drugs? No, we didn't find any. So how did the dog hit? The dog didn't hit. So I just searched my vehicle. It was searched for evidence of the offense of the threats to with the ammunition in your buddy's backpack. Oh. What did they say about me? I was yelling that I was going to kill them? That's what was said? That was yelled. It was. Dude, this is going to be so fun in court. You guys are going to Stupid. I love when they're gonna show the video of me yelling at them, man. And I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Brady, how we doing back here? It still sucks. But I'm tired of this Miley Cyrus. All three individuals were arrested. Hunter faced charges of making threats, disorderly conduct, and two counts of bail jumping. Alex was charged with making threats and disorderly conduct, a set of charges that were also assigned to Brady. Hunter, Alex, and Brady have all graduated from high school. However, this next teen still needs to graduate and is making it tremendously harder by being even more s than Brady. On August 24th, 2022, a school called 911 because 17-year-old Mercedes, who has a long and well-known history of 
groups seemed to be overdosing between classes. In addition to that, Mercedes had also been acting aggressively in the hallways and was therefore thrown outside the school. It didn't take one of the officers long to recognize Mercedes based on the provided description they had received. Let's go. Let's go. Don't, don't, or you're gonna get thrown on the ground. You understand? Stupid. I'm not acting stupid. Not no more. Uh, why are you gonna hold my arm like that? Guys, you wanna turn around and try to swing on me? Keep I'm it not up. swinging on you, bro. Stand up. Ow! Stand up. Ow. Mercedes seriously has no idea what's going on, repeating the same stuff over and over again, calling everyone bruh or bro, while not paying attention to anything the officer is telling her. It only gets worse from here on out. I did listening. I wasn't doing nothing but playing on the thing. Is that why you're walking past the street when I told you to come here? Because they wanted me to leave, so I left. Who made you leave school? I. They said I had to leave. What do you mean by it? I don't got nothing on me. Basically, she's laying on a bench. She was uh -huh. very incoherent. She got up Merce and was walking Her name? Mercedes. around and uh, she became super belligerent towards the staff members, yeah. like like she was with you. Yeah. Threatening to throw this at people and stuff like that. And then uh, she also has a history of threatening people. Um, she's threatened to throw a Gatorade bottle at her. She had her hand on her. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys want her back at school? Do you want her? No, she's, she's in danger right okay. now. I don't know what state she's in. You know, or if she's got to up for what, what she's doing. Alright, we'll take her home and see if we can hold her. Okay. Now, before you start blaming her parents, know that they're not enabling their daughter's behavior. Mercedes has very nice parents, actually, but unfortunately, Mercedes truly is a troubled kid and doesn't seem to acknowledge the love, help, and patience of her parents. I'll be right there. No problem. And then this one wasn't in there. Okay. And then this one wasn't in there. Okay. Okay. And then this one wasn't in there. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah, no problem. Your daughter, Mercedes? Yes. Do you put those in the way? I did. Um, if you could just let me clock out and I'll be right outside. Oh, you don't have to clock out. That's what I was going to ask you. Is it your boyfriend or something? Yes, but he's, she's going to fight with him. I am here for Mercedes right now. Okay, are you dad? I'm stepdad. Where's mom? Mom's at work. Okay, she's going to fight with mom, so I'm not at work. Okay, mom's at home. And I have my sergeant heading to the address. There it is. Okay, mom's at work. She works at home. She okay. gets up at 2 o'clock. Okay. 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 Is there any way we can get mom here? Hello, ma'am. Sorry to hear anything. No, sorry to bug you like this, though. So, so I just got off the phone with her dad. Okay. Um, we don't know how your guys' rules work, okay. and I don't know exactly what happened here. He was trying to kind of fill me in on the way. Yeah. So I'll just let you know real quick. So the school called us in reference. So they called it as an overdose. Okay. I guess she's out here in the common area. Okay. Uh, falling asleep, but as if she might be under the influence. Falling asleep and then would uh, wake up, be very disorderly towards them, swearing, attempting to throw an apple juice bottle at all the staff and everything. Okay. As soon as I get here, I didn't know which one she was. She gets right up and starts going out the side entrance that way. So I ask, What's her name? I call out to her staff, goes to shake ignores us, throws her head up, continues to go across Sano after she's after. Once I get there, I just escort her, just by hanging her arm, back across the street. She keeps falling, keeps falling. Keeps going, we keep walking. AMR's on scene, my sergeant's on scene, staff, and we come. She turns to try to hit me and I sweep her to the ground quick. She doesn't have any injuries, put her in handcuffs, so she is uh, being charged today with assault on a peace officer. Okay. Um, resisting, obstructing, um, and then also, because she is on the system as a runaway. Yes. So we'll take her out of the system as a runaway. So she is being charged with those, um, which is a juvenile so, crisis three. Uh, me and Dad, cause like I said, I was on the phone with Dad. Um, we, we already know how she is. We've been having trouble with her for the past two years, yeah. and she's been running away. Like, if I take her home right now, she's literally, Mercedes's mother is in no mood to deal with this type of behavior from her daughter again. Therefore, she asks if they can't just take her daughter to jail to sober up and come back to her senses before dealing with her. Yesterday, when I went, got home from grocery shopping, uh -huh. she had.
three of her friends in my home. I kicked her friends out, and that's why I called the cops because she ran away. Yeah. But they had alcohol in my home. Yeah. And Mercedes, step up for me. That's a 1057. 782 for a track. That's a new one. Right here. Face towards me. Do you have any injuries on your legs? 2317. Yeah. Just stand normal. I said, pick this up. Put your hand on top of your head. Do you understand? Do you understand? Place your hand on your head. Grab your phone. Uh, this will no longer want you to attend here. Um, I am going to turn you over to him, but essentially it's going to be turned over to mom. She has a little bit of paperwork, and I will take you out of the system as a runaway. I will give you some advice. Uh, if you keep running away or whatever these little charges you think are nothing, they will become enough where you will be taken to jail. If you keep doing this, you definitely will. You'll get taken to jail over this. You won't be released to mom or dad or stepdad, whoever it may be. So, I mean, if that's the road you want to go, and by all means, keep doing what you're doing. Um, but it's a very simple thing. All you have to do is listen to me and stop. And I would have brought you back, called mom, and really shoot him out. But now you have three charges on you today. I don't know if you're trying to show off for the people outside, but it didn't quite work out in your favor. Do you have any questions or anything for me? All right, over with him. The officer's request to take Mercedes to jail was denied, which means both her mother and stepfather will have to deal with her right now. All Mercedes has to do is calm down, get into their car, and behave. They take off only to suddenly have to stop because Mercedes starts kicking their seats and screaming at them. What's going on? My mom, she's pissing me off. I'm just trying to go home and I'm literally trying to... I'm not doing nothing. I'm literally not doing nothing. Been in trouble with JPL before? Yes, because they thought I hit my mom, but she's the one that was hitting me, and I just pushed her off of me. They, did they take you to the detention center yet? No, I'm just trying to go home, bro. I'm literally just trying to go home and go to I, sleep. I get that, man, but you're gonna have to chill, and relax for okay, a while. Okay, why? Well, you know what I mean? This is getting me mad, bro. I, I didn't even I get do it, nothing. But... Why is she yelling at me for? At this point, you can't help but feel bad for both her mother and stepfather, who have to deal with this kind of behavior from her regularly. Mercedes puts a lot of stress on them and also makes them worried. On top of that, regarding her future, the mother is now at her wit's end. Do you understand that your actions are prolonging all of this? Yes, I okay. know. I'm so sorry. if you stop with your actions, you'll get home and get some food and get some sleep. But you keep acting like a child, you're going to continue to see us. We're going to prolong even longer, possibly go to jail. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous at this point. If you're truly sorry, the best apology is change, change the action or behavior. You know what yeah? I mean? At some point, you're going to have to chill. I understand you're frustrated with everything, but they're trying to help you out. Yeah, we were yeah, literally just going down the road and then she just started punching the seat and kicking it and screaming and I'm like, so I told him I was going to stop so I could talk to you. 
Yeah. Mercedes didn't get arrested this time, but still got charged with battery upon a peace officer and resisting arrest. Now, Mercedes is close to graduating high school if she ever does, but this next teen is already getting into deep problems at the very start of her high school career. On March 10th, 2022, a physical altercation between two students at a school quickly escalated. The 13-year-old student began to act aggressively, not just towards the other student involved in the fight, but also towards nearby peers and staff. This concerning behavior led school officials to promptly call the police to de-escalate the situation and ensure the safety of everyone involved. Stop. Stop. Go in the room and chill out. Can you do that? Move. Can you go in that room okay, and chill? Okay, move. Go ahead. I'm going to trust you. Threatening to shoot the officer is not something you would expect from a 13-year-old. Saying it'll get even worse would be me lying, but it doesn't get much better. Layla is either a victim of abuse, witnessing it, or lacking accountability for her actions at home. This isn't a contrived persona. One of the school employees mentions that her parents aren't picking up the phone. In the meantime, Layla manages to get herself arrested once again. His hands on me to make the whole situation worse! Okay. Guess what? I didn't mean to throw that at you! Turn around. We're not playing this. Now you're going to jail. If you want to continue playing like this, now you're going to jail for battery on law enforcement. That's how you want to do this? Then that's how we'll do it. We gave you that opportunity to chill out. But if you want to play this game, we'll play it. And it's all on camera, Layla. I don't care. You got to be this way. I don't care. Well, you should. You just got out of doing 21? So you probably get 21, just so you know. Man, I don't care, bro. We look at it and hit you in your chest with yep. Yes, I don't care. I don't care. Well, you know, that's fine. No problem. I don't know. Maybe. We're, we're going to resolve this now. Because it went from her throwing the water bottle to her kid to doing, you know. It's time these cops didn't, didn't put these at all. Didn't like, put handcuffs? No, they did. When I went to 21, they did. But, like, they were so loose I could easily sip them off, put them on my feet, put them on my wrist. Like, I she could go into your car. I, the man didn't even lock them. He didn't lock the cuffs. Layla, you know why you're going to jail, right? Yep. Battery gets officer. Okay. The fact that Layla already knows the charges and understands the process of being arrested is quite concerning. Layla is only present for about 20 minutes and manages to get the cops called on her in that short time at school. You're not going to come to school tomorrow or you're suspended. Okay. If you're in JDC, you'll go to school in JDC. I already know. But if not, you don't, you don't come to school tomorrow and we'll talk about when you return. She wanted to know why you couldn't give her a free ticket. <laughs> a free ticket for what? Get a jail free card. Not believe. Cause you threw like applesauce at me. I didn't cool. mean to. You said have you crumble and then threw oh, it at me. I didn't. <laughs> I said. This. And then threw the applesauce. Yes. Throw it at him. At my knee. I didn't mean to throw it at you. These are my good pants too, man. These ain't even the ones with the busted clouds. Uh. That's all right. Look. Oh. Hey man. 
hard feelings. It wouldn't be a bad idea to look into her parents' situation. Understanding more about what's going on will help ensure things are sorted out properly and quickly. Layla was arrested and charged with battery upon a peace officer. A bit later on, just one block away from where Layla got arrested, this next teen crashed her car into the police station gate. In November 2023, Samara Burns, a 19-year-old DoorDash driver, crashed into the police's security gate while attempting to deliver her next order. A couple of officers quickly approached her to figure out what had happened. Tell me if I'm way off, but Samara is giving me a lot of Amy vibes from that one education show. Not only does she act like how she would act in this situation, but she also kind of resembles her in the face. How old am I? Yeah. 19. I just wanted to make sure that my boyfriend, he was like maybe a block down, or maybe like a block and a half down. So I'm like maybe a half a block down. <coughs> He's like a half a block that way. So my job was to pick him up, take him home, go to sleep. That was my whole entire job. That's it. Do I work? Yeah. I do DoorDash, so it's like... It's a job, right? It's a job, so it's kind of just like... If it's busy, you go work. If it's not busy, then you wait. It's kind of like that. Like, if it was busy right now, I could be working right now. But it's not... <coughs> Kind of like that. Imagine ordering takeout when you're drunk, only to find out that your delivery person is also drunk. Samara continues to explain her job as a DoorDash driver over and over again, but each time it gets worse and worse. Pretend like if you wanted food right now, and the only thing that was open right now was like McDonald's. If I got the notification that you wanted McDonald's, I could go to McDonald's and get your meal and take it to you. But if nobody ordered McDonald's and I can't get it. It's kind of like that. So like, pretend like from where I'm at right now, if you had ordered and you were in this area and you wanted McDonald's, I'd go like, maybe like a mile and a half to get to the McDonald's in Gibson, right? And then I can come back here and then give you your meal. It's, it's kind of like that. Like, it, it really just depends on what you decide that you want to do. Cause that's like the glory, basically. A DoorDash is like you could decide if you want to take it or if you don't want to take it. It's like pretend like you have 93% accepted trade. So like if whatever order that you get, whether it's like a $10 order or a $3 order, your acceptance rate is like, let's say it's like 90%, right? Samara's tactic here was probably to confuse the officers until they forgot why they were there in the first place. Do you understand why we stopped you? Uh, no, but can you tell me? So the reason we stopped you is because uh, the supervisor right here, that right. was just parked right here, right. saw you ram our gate into our substation. Okay? Right, because I was gonna go take an order and then... I'm gonna ask you, are you willing to conduct my field sobriety test? Yes. You are? Yes. Okay. The officer explains the walk and turn test maybe five times with examples for Samara to finally understand what she's supposed to be doing. I'm sorry, heel touching your toe is like... Heel touching your toe like this. Oh, Just okay. like that. So like this. So like one and then go. Like that. Yes. With your arms at your side. So like this. Yes. Okay. Stay in that position while I repeat my instructions. Okay. Get in that position that I just told you. Like this. And stay in that position until I finish my instructions. Are you done with the test? I mean, you said nine, right? Have you completed the test? You said nine? Have you completed the test? All I know from is that I'm about a block away. 
She fails the rest of the tests miserably. Also, it's crazy how everything over there is one block away. Jail is probably also one block away, if not less than that. How much have you had to drink today? Alright, okay. so wanna go ahead and turn around, face away from me. Place okay. your hands behind your back. Right now you're being placed under arrest for driving while intoxicated. Okay? I'm not trying to like get my phone or anything like that, but we'll grab it. Okay, just because I wanna be able yeah. to yeah, yeah, contact yeah. my boyfriend to tell him like mm -hmm. hey That's fine. Because he's like about a block away. Samara got arrested and charged with aggravated driving while intoxicated. Also, here's some advice from Samara. Don't drink and drive this. But if you thought that was pathetic, wait until you see my next case about a super entitled teen who tries to cheat herself out of a traffic stop. On January 13th, 2023, officers conducted a traffic stop on a woman named Anna Gilbert, who was seen swerving all over the road and exceeding the speed limit. The reason pulling over is you are speeding and swerving all over. Is there any reason why you're doing so? Huh? What do you need help with? Helping. Okay. Yep, yeah, I can help you. Okay, what's going on? Talk to me. Trying to go to my boyfriend's house. Okay, where's your boyfriend then? Over there. Where? Ninth Avenue. It's, it's the. Sorry, hold on. What, what community is he living in? Sorry. What community does he live in? It's, it's just a. It's not like a. It's not gated. Just the one. Okay. Where are you coming from tonight? My parents. What is your parents? Do you have any advice? You what? I'm sorry, no amount of. Alright, do you got your license on you? Let's start with that, okay? We'll deal with we'll deal with whatever you got going on, alright? I don't have drugs. I didn't say you did. Where are you really coming from? My parents. Where do your parents live? Let's start with your license. Have you been drinking tonight? I have PTSD and I'm trying to get to a safe place, but okay. do you have any... I, do, I don't know what's going on, so I can't help you. How much have you had to drink tonight? Can you shut the car off? Alright, be honest with me, how much have you had to drink tonight? You can go run that. Okay. Avoiding the question, what did you have to drink tonight? And claiming she has PTSD suggests she's hiding something. After handing the officer expired registration documents, she offers one poor excuse after another. I'm having a PTSD, so... From what? From what? Yeah. Child? I'm sorry to hear that. Why does this, why would this I'm trigger that? I'm asking for help. It, this isn't... This is not triggering it, but I'm trying to get to my boyfriend's house, so Okay. So you haven't had anything to drink? No. No, no narcotics? No. Okay. All right, if you would go ahead and step out of the vehicle and make sure you're not under the influence, and we'll have you on your way, all right? What? To make sure you're not under the influence. Come on back over here for me, please. I'm not allowed to. You're not allowed to? What do you mean? Why aren't you allowed to? I'm not allowed to at this point. Why? My dad's a lawyer. Your dad's a lawyer? And I'm not allowed to. Okay, well even as a lawyer, he would tell you if you're ordered out of a vehicle that you should come that you have to comply. Okay? Yeah, he's told me otherwise. No, he wouldn't tell you that, that you don't have to come out if you're told to? I mean he's so That's what it sounds like he would wrong, say, yeah. He's, he's giving you bad information. So if you would go ahead and step out, if you're not under the influence, you'd be on your way. Okay. Alright, so but come I'm on out. I'm not out. allowed to, so we can do whatever. I can park here. We can, do, we can do whatever, but. No, I'm go ahead and step allowed out. To. I'm not allowed to. Explain to me why you're not allowed to. He's not gonna. You. He would tell you, if he was giving you sound legal advice, he'd tell you when you're ordered out of a vehicle to step out. Yeah, I'm sure. So this, this is the last sure. time I'm gonna ask you. I'm sure he's wrong, but I'm not allowed to, so I am. Yeah, no. I'm about to tell you something. I watch you this. All right, you're coming out of the vehicle, one way or another. Okay, you can either step out and cooperate, and if you do the exercises and you're not determined to be under the influence, you'll be on your way. Or he's giving you a lawful order to step out of that vehicle. You could be charged with obstruction as of now. So if you do, if we have to open that door and remove you from the vehicle, you're going to be charged with obstruction. I'll, 
I'll get out. Okay. All right, so come on up. Come on up. But I'm sure I'll be charged with that. Come on up. I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to. Last chance. I'm not allowed to. All right, come on out. Come on out. Come on over here. Okay. Do you have any medical condition with your eyes not corrected by glasses? What do you got? I get seizures. My aquatic seizures. Okay, what does that have to do with your eyes? Lights. What about it? We don't have any flashing lights on in the front. That's, I don't know. At this point, I think she has watched too many episodes of Better Call Saul, trying every trick in the book to avoid any field tests whatsoever. The first test barely even lasts five seconds before Anna resorts to the fake panic attack strategy. Do we have to call fire rescue? <laughs> Anna, do you need paramedics? <laughs> I can't understand you. I tried my best to hold it together. You passed what? I tried my best to hold it together. Any paramedics in? This continues for another couple of minutes, with the officers waiting without showing any empathy. They know exactly what is going on. Moreover, Anna is making it even clearer that she has been drinking by her heavy breathing. Let me explain something, all right? This, this episode that you're having, while I understand that it might be genuine, we still have an investigation to do. The more you're exasperating, I can smell the odor of an unknown alcoholic beverage coming off of your breath. So we got we got something to do here, and if you got to go to the hospital, we can continue the investigation there. Hmm. After that strategy fails for Anna, she spends some time thinking about what she has just said, and then exaggerates even more in an attempt to escape from her current situation. Do you know what you got to do? All right, go ahead and begin. Or you can just stand. You can just stand right there too. That's fine too. Okay, so go ahead and just bring your feet together for me. You guys are over it, do whatever you have to do. We're still giving you a chance. What are you talking about? Shaking your head, I need to. I'm not shaking I... my head. <laughs> Does anybody have any tips? Anybody have what? <laughs> I need tips. Tips. To deal with this. To deal with what? The exercises? Look back at your footage. I don't understand what you're asking for help with. <laughs> How to deal with this? To deal with what? PTSD. PTSD? Like I just told you. You didn't tell us that. Well, I, I would, told him. I would suggest that you seek counseling for that, but <laughs> during a DUI investigation isn't the time to, to deal with that. Look this, back. this is a look DUI back. investigation. Look back. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one last time, look Mr. Gilbert. Back in your Footage. Do you it's wish to participate there. in standardized field sobriety exercises? Are you going to stand up and do these exercises? Yes or no, ma'am? Yes! Alright, so when you're ready, go ahead and stand up. If you think Anna is giving up, then you're greatly mistaken. So, she sits there for another couple of minutes before she finally stands up. The officer then proceeds to explain the next sobriety test. But just like before, it lasts maybe three seconds before Anna cuts him off again. Do you see what I'm doing, Miss Gilbert? I'm not doing this. You're not doing it? All right. You're being placed under arrest for driving under the influence. Okay. And as well as um, obstructing an officer as well. All right, have let's go over here. On, right? Yep, we got four cameras out here. Well, you didn't remember anything, so. You didn't cooperate, so that's where we're at with that. All right, go ahead and take a seat. You're safe. 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 You're saf
safe. You're safe. You're safe. You're safe. You're safe. Will you take a breath test? Please, can I just, I'll do anything. Can I just If you refuse to take the test I've requested, no! okay? No! Please, please. If you refuse to take the test I've requested of you, so you're going to provide a breath sample? You're still riding with me, but are you going to provide a breath sample? Please, let me go in her car. 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 Please, let me go in her car.